today's fast-paced job market, certifications are more important than ever. Whether you're just starting or looking to advance your career, they validate your skills, keep you updated with industry trends, and open doors to new opportunities. This video offers a comprehensive guide for obtaining Power BI certification, including selection, preparation, and certification strategies for new and experienced analysts. So before we begin, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka's YouTube channel. Also check out Edureka's Microsoft Power BI certification training by PwC Academy, the link to which is given in the description box below. Before I get into the topic, I have included a screenshot created by Power BI. Power BI can create interactive dashboards from millions of data sets. Many top companies use Power BI to create dashboards like this, so that business stakeholders can clearly understand it and spend more time on other tasks. So now I will show you a small demo of creating visual using Power BI. Now, as we have opened the Power BI desktop, now we will create a small visual. To create a visual, Let's go to Get Data. We have many options under the Common Data Sources. So I will select Text and CSV as my file format is in Text and CSV. And we will source our first data. Click on Open. Click on Load to load the data. Now to check whether our file is loaded or no, towards the right hand side under Data, we have the file that we have loaded. Now let's create the visual. For that, select the cluster column chart for creating the graph. So now let's give the values for the graph. So I will be giving location as my x axis value by dragging and dropping it. CMAX for the y axis, let me give the sum of revenue as the value. Now here you can see my graph is created. Let me change the background color of the report. So let me go to format your report page. Under that, you can see canvas background. In canvas background, we have color, so you can choose any preferable color you want to. So I will be choosing a dark color and decreasing the transparency to 13%. Okay, so as my background color of the report is also changed, so let me change the background color of the graph. For that, let me go to general, effects, in effects, you have color, you can choose any preferable color you want to. And you can decrease or increase the transparency too. I have increased the transparency to 81%. So now you can see the background color of my graph is also changed. Now let me change the color of the text of my values. So for that, let's go to visuals. In the x axis, we have colors. Let me change into white. Yeah, you can see that's done. Same as in the y axis, let's go to values, color. And let's click on white. Here you can see that my color of my text is also changed to white. Now let's also change the color of the columns. For that, under visual, we have column. In column, we have color. You can change it to any preferable color you want to. So here you can see that I have also changed the color of the column. Let me show you all how to change the title as well. For that, go to general, title. So under text, let's type. The revenue generated by location and change the color into white and give it bold as well so that it's visible and align it to center. So this is how you create the graph. Now as you can see my graph also consists of the grid lines. So let me just remove the grid lines as well. For that let me go to grid lines under visual and just off the grid lines. So here you can see that my grid lines has just been removed. So this is how you create the visuals or the dashboard in the Power BI desktop. To learn more about creating dashboard using Power BI, please check out Edureka's Power BI tutorial where you can learn how to create dashboards from the scratch. I hope you now understand how Power BI works when creating dashboards and so on. Suppose you are a beginner or professional looking to improve your Power BI skills. In that case, Microsoft offers Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Analyst Associate which will demonstrate methods and best practices that align with business and technical requirements for modeling, visualizing, and analyzing data using Microsoft Power BI. So, if you want to obtain the certification, you must take up the PL300 exam, which costs $165, and in Indian rupees, it is 4800 
and the pattern consists of 40 to 60 multiple choice questions. The duration is 100 minutes and the passing criteria is 700. Now let's see how to prepare for Microsoft Power BI certification. First, you should understand the exam requirements. Familiarize yourself with the exam objectives for PL300 covering data preparation, modeling, visualizing and deployment. Review Microsoft's official guide for detailed topic areas. Next comes hands-on practice. Use Power BI Desktop extensively, practice data modeling, DAX, creating dashboards and using Power Query. Aim to build end-to-end -end solution to deepen your skills. Last comes the study resources. Take advantage of Microsoft's free learning paths, online courses and practical exams. Have you all imagined what are the skills you will acquire? First is prepare the data. You will learn how to connect to data sources, profile and clean data for consistency, and transform and load it for effective analysis and reporting. Next comes model the data. Design and implement a structured data model, create calculations using DAX, and optimize model performance for efficient analysis in Power BI. Next comes visualize and analyze the data. Create insightful reports, enhance them for usability and storytelling, and identify patterns and trends to drive data-driven decisions. Moving on to manage and secure Power BI. Create and manage workspaces and assets while securing and governing Power BI items to ensure controlled access and compliance. So these are the skills that is needed to be certified for Power BI Data Analyst Associate. Now let's see who should take up this Microsoft Power BI certification. The certification is ideal for data analysts and professionals who leverage Power BI to communicate insights from an organization's data. It also benefits business managers and decision makers who want to make data-driven decisions, as well as IT professionals transitioning into BI roles or seeking career growth in data analysts and visualization. Obtaining a Power BI certification, such as passing Microsoft's PL300 exam, not only demonstrates expertise in a leading visualization tool, but also opens up new career opportunities. Similarly, Edureka offers the Microsoft Power BI certification training by PwC Academy, which will help learners pass the PL300 exam while also gaining expertise in business analytics. And Edureka's Power BI certification course by PwC offers dual certification in business intelligence. You will learn concepts such as Power BI Desktop, Architecture, DAX, Mobile Apps, Data Quality Assessment, data transformation, data modeling, reports, and among others, using industry examples. This Power BI training is a live and instructor-led, ensuring you gain hands-on experience with real-world projects and help the learners to pass the PL300 examination. So, I have added a screenshot here and the screenshot is from Edureka. So, all these are skills from Microsoft Power BI that will be covering in the certification. Your skills are data transformation, building reports and special visualizations, charts and page layout, building narratives with Fabric, advanced analytics with Power BI, working with Copilot feature. We also have Microsoft Power BI tools covered, for example, Azure SQL, Power BI, Copilot, Python, Amazon S3, and so on. Now, let's also take a look at the job descriptions. Here, I've added the screenshots of the top companies hiring for data analysts and Power BI professionals. So, Edureka will be a better choice if you want to start your career in Power BI. Now, let's see the scope of Power BI. In 2024, Microsoft Power BI held 15.97% of business intelligence market, trailing only Tableau, SAP Crystal Solution, and NetSuite. According to Statista, the BI market will be $27.36 billion in 2024, raising at a CAGR of 5.71%, to $34.16 billion by 2028. According to the comparative survey, the United States will generate the most revenue in 2024, amounting to approximately $13,790 million. All businesses are becoming increasingly data-driven, relying heavily on data analytics and visualization tools to provide real-time and actionable insights. Now let's take a look at the salary for a Power BI professional. The average annual salary in India is for the entry level, it is 6 lakhs per year. And for the mid-level, it is 19 lakhs per year. Moving on to the senior level, it is 26 lakhs per year. Now let's see the average annual salary in US. For the entry level, it is $95,000 per year. And for the mid-level, it is $98,000 per year. Now let's see for the senior level, it is $100,000 per year. Now let's also take a look at the salary for data analyst. 
the average annual salary in India for the entry level is 11 lakhs per year. And for the mid level, it is 18 lakh per year. Moving on to the senior level, it is 19 lakh per year. And the average annual salary in US is, for the entry level, it is $65,000 per year. And for the mid level, it is $76,000 per year. Moving on to the senior level, it is $79,000 per year. Here I have listed the top companies that are hiring Power BI professionals and those companies are Microsoft, Amazon, Infosys, TCS, Google, Accenture. A Power BI certification is a significant milestone in your data analytics career, setting you apart in a competitive job market. It's more than just passing an exam. It's a professional development process that includes fully understanding one of the most commonly used data visualization tools. With that, we have come to an end of this Microsoft Power BI certification video. If you enjoyed it, please be kind enough to like it. And you can comment on any doubts and queries. We will reply to them as soon as possible. Do look out for more videos and playlists and subscribe to our Radio Recurs YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.